Hello everyone, is my microphone working today? <laughs> Ah, hello everybody. Uh, I am so sorry for the delay and for not... I had this whole stream planned for Crisis Core and a whole bunch of other stuff and life just got a little crazy. So yeah, hello everyone. We'll be starting in just a moment, but I just wanted to say hi since I'm already here. I don't have to be behind a microphone or whatever. Ah. <sighs> Hello, everyone. I I didn't realize that this was the mug that I had until I was like, I'm going to be on camera, but um, cheers. Ah, coffee. I was excited because it's snowing, or it was snowing, and I was like, I'm going to have snow in the background, and then it stopped snowing, so that's the thought that counts. Okay, um, oh god. All right, let's go ahead and get into the game, because I know you guys are excited to see this prototype. Hey, Rob Higgins, member for 25 months. Jesus Christ, time goes so fast. <laughs> Whew. Oop, where'd the game go? Wait, can you see the game? Okay. Thanks, Rob. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, let me just restart. Blah. By the way, thanks to all the people who recommended uh, Duck Station. It's like the best PS1 emulator there is. M3 again. Never for 13 months. It's been a while. Hope everything is going good for you. Yeah, everything's okay. I can't complain. Hope everything's good for you guys as well. All right. Hey Diamond, I miss you too. Oh, I forgot to edit the podcast. I'm so sorry. Me and Diamond did a podcast for Think Ribbon like <laughs> I don't even know how long ago, and I totally thought I uploaded it, and I did not. I am so sorry. Okay. Um, oh, gather my thoughts. So you're just gonna see a lot of stuff that it's like you think you're playing Resident Evil 2, and then little things are just off. And again, unfortunately, we only've got uh, Leon's scenario, so yeah, and um, I'm going to have noob control moments because square is action, and X is cancel, and start is like the map or something, I don't really remember. And just because, just to get this out of the way, because I know people want to see the calico whatever gun, it's not really that fun to use because it doesn't make any sound. It does seem to be a little more powerful than the handgun. Like there, see, I took him down in three hits, but this is it. That's why I didn't really show it off too much in the video, because I don't feel any satisfaction from shooting these zombies with this thing. Yeah, Susie also wants to do a podcast with me. And I was like, are you sure? And she's like, yeah, so... Maybe that will happen at some point. I'm gonna... Oh, I could use any gun I want. I'll just use the... The sexy handgun. The Matilda. And also, I can't skip any cutscenes in this version, so... Who are you? What are you doing here? Exactly, Saint Adora. <laughs> what? What are you doing? Make gun noises for it. Yeah, version 1.8 is just what I'm calling it. That's not official. My mic is really loud, isn't it? Sorry. Turn it down a little bit. 
What's, What's going, going on, on in this town? town? Hold on. Hello, Jane Croft. And Mr. Onion. Thank you. Oh, man, Yoshiko. I'm so sorry. I wish you a speedy recovery. Yeah, so check this out. So there's a first aid spray here, and there's one and two handgun bullets right here. I don't think there's anything else over here. So you can get, like... I, you guys will see by the end of this, I you have so much ammo. And there's the first aid spray. Why not? And then, of course, the typewriter, which a lot of you in the comments said was in the uh, trial version. I'm not that familiar with the trial version, even though I do actually own it on disc from when I lived in Japan. <laughs> Oh my god! Kendo, no! He's dead. Are all my... Okay, chat's working. We're all good. Yeah, see those weird footsteps? Like, so many little things. Daniel's Dark Magician, member for 26 months. Happy New Year, Kai. Have a great year. Looking forward to the new podcast and live streams. Don't forget the lighter. Oh, ha. I have that in a box somewhere. I haven't used it yet, but thank you. It's one of the coolest things I have now. I should put that up here on my little display. Well, my display is a mess, but... Comic Girl, what's up? Hi, Inky. Long time no see. Hope you're doing well. Here. This is what you're looking for, right? Don't worry, Rob. I think everybody hears their own voice a little weird. For a long time, I hated my own voice on Ink Ribbon. It's not that I don't hate it now. I think I've just gotten used to hearing my own voice. So you'll notice that this basketball court is a lot cleaner than normal. And I, I forgot to check if the graffiti is different. I don't think it is, but yeah. Huh. <sighs> Oh, I forgot to take Kendo's shotgun, but it doesn't matter, because I can literally... I could turn my knife into a shotgun if I want. So check this out, guys. No no trash in the alleys. It's super clean. You, you're it? Oh, thank you, Stephanie. Carl actually just walked in, but he's being really grumpy today, so I'm just kind of leaving him alone. Like, he scratched the hell out of me earlier, and he was just getting... He's very cranky. He doesn't want to be touched or pet. He just wants treats, and... I'm like, okay, you're being a little brat. Whoa, whoa, ah! I am an officer of the law. Stop! And you'll also notice here, that's a big thing, is there's not a lot of background elements in the streets, like the buildings in the background, and the, the sky, and all that. Hi, the greens. And thank you, John Irwin. I, I, I thought about it, but I don't know. And uh, here, this is obviously very unfinished. Is the... Oh, the butter knife death guy is invisible. Well, he's like, oh, this is just a straight up different camera angle, I think. Or maybe it's just missing the one when you go right here. You know the guy on the table, you can see that he's like got butter knives jammed in his back, or at least that's what it looks like. Yeah, so the way that it works is um, they're called masks, and basically it's a cutout of the shape of whatever's in the background. And the way that it's programmed is if the character goes uh, in, in front of that mask, it'll put them behind it. So it's actually just erasing any character models that appear in front of it. I really would like to figure out like how Resident Evil actually works under the hood. I'd be very interested, but I... I'm not skilled enough. I'll have to talk to like Aiden Watkins or one of the modder people to help me. Travi, sometimes. I'm a human. Thank you for the five dollars. Happy New Year, Kai. So I know you love Resident Evil, but how about your partner? 
are they into the lore? So what's your favorite? Um, not really. He's into like the movies. Um, I, I've I've explained some of it to him, and he's just like, okay, but he knows that this is what I do for a living, and it pays for half our mortgage. So of course he's like, yeah, Resident Evil. <laughs> whole lot of games welcome to silver thank you so much and thanks for tuning in oh god am i gonna actually dub this the 1.8 version because now everyone's calling it that it's not actually officially what it's called that's just what i called it do i have any portuguese fans i'm sure brazilian people love resident evil and a lot of them told me that this was actually sold in japan because in case you guys don't know, like, from what I've gathered in Brazil, there's like a, or at least there was a big black market for video games. I don't know exactly why. So pirating was very normal, and this was sold as like the official version. Um, and I know that because I didn't include it in my video because it was not relevant. But um, if you plug in a second controller, you can like do infinite health and all sorts of weird stuff. So yeah, there was supposed to be an item box here, which I don't know why there isn't. That'd be a great place for one. <laughs> I mean, they put it in the in the remake, so that proves that, you know, that's where it should have been. And this camera angle. Why didn't we have this camera angle so we could see our characters close up? Every Resident Evil game needs a, a camera angle that is this close. Hey girl, hey, what's up, Lopez? And a lot of people are wondering how I stumbled onto this version. You guys don't know the depths that I have to Google things <laughs> when I'm researching my videos. It was just an accident. I stumbled on like pseudo dark web stuff where I was like, what? And oh, goodness. Freeze. You must be the new guy, Leon. I, I don't know if I'd be a good speedrunner. But it looks like your party has been canceled. Remember for 27 months. Thanks, person man. Glad I could be part of stream. Keep up the great work, guy. Thank you so much. In a mansion located in the outskirts of this city. And thank you all for tuning in, by the way. And the other stars members discovered that. Umbrella was behind everything. They risked their lives to reveal the truth, but no one believed them. Not long after that, all this started to happen. Uh, uh. Hang in there. Don't worry about me. Just rescue the survivors in the other rooms. Here, take this key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. <laughs> well, Smith. Now go. Yep. But just go. Fine. Yeah. See, he doesn't say I'm coming back or anything. He's just like. But I'm coming back. For oh, me. Just, just kidding. Hold on. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> So I don't Google in Japanese, but my phone does have like the lens thing from Google so you can like translate text. So throughout the video, I kept holding it up to the screen and being like, what does this say? Just to make sure I wasn't like missing anything. Uh, Sapphire Owl 1993, thank you for the $10. Hi Ink, my husband and I love your content. He's having a bad day at work and I was wondering if you could just say hi. It would make his day. His name is Rand. Thank you so much. Um... <sighs> hi Rand. I'm sorry you're having a bad day, but if you would remember to take this valve handle with you, you wouldn't be having such a bad day. Lose, big guy. It can solve all your problems. I'm just kidding, I'm being stupid, but hi, Rand. Sorry you're having a bad day at work. I hope it gets better. You've got a great partner. Oh, Susie, Sphere Hunter's in the chat. Everybody get down. Thank you, Olivia Sloan. I hope you're doing well. Alright. Um, 
Yeah, Susie, I think I've accidentally dubbed this the 1.8 build. I didn't mean to. But here we are. <laughs> okay. Um, where do I go? I've never played this before. I don't even know where I am. Oh, Melzy. Hey, thanks for the five pounds. Missed your live streams, Kai. Also, hi to everyone in chat. Sending all my love. Oh. And uh, the, the box is missing here, but it's sort of... <laughs> I don't know what is going on here. You have to stand in just the right spot to activate it. Uh, Ty Harris, thank you for the $2. Ever considered doing a best quotes or moments video? Hmm. I suppose I could. It just depends. People get really worked up about little stuff like that. Thanks. Then everyone's Much appreciated. Like, Take this. They're like, how come you didn't include this? And how come you forgot that? And blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, ah. All right, um, let's turn. Oh yeah, Thanks. I want. Much appreciated. Take this. <laughs> All right, so the liquor still crawls on the window. And in case you guys didn't know, the the inventory box right there, the lid is actually the only part that's visible in the game, and they just make it align so that it fits with the box but the the lid is really the only thing you interact with in the games which is why it's like it looks like that sir you can't sleep here this is a different liquor intro he just hops down i will remember you uh, Jonathan, me and Lisa J will do another stream. We were gonna do a Code Veronica stream in two parts, and then, like, she got sick, and then I got sick, and then it just never happened, so. Best of cheesy lines. Oh, there's so many. <clears throat> Uh, was the name on the box always Tony's arms? I don't think so. Let's find out. Yeah, I looked, um, people were commenting about Resident Evil 3 prototype, and there's like some unused content, but other than that, oh yeah, Tony's arms. Other than that, I, I couldn't find anything, um, as far as like, I mean, on this level. It's, it's crazy because... They didn't just do Resident Evil 1.5, they also did like all these changes to Resident Evil 2 and it shows you how much work and, and stuff goes into game development. And for me, as a solo dev, it's like baffling, but I guess when you have like hundreds of people working on a game, you know, there's going to be a lot of changes. And these are the, the blonde zombies that I'm pretty sure are not blonde in the original. Well, actually... Those ones are... These are the zombies from the bus. You don't see these ones very often. And then this door's... Wait. Oh, I guess they changed that door. Never mind, I'm getting my videos confused because I did them back to back. Oh, <laughs> uh, Megan Sampson. Thank you so much for the $10. Hi, Kai. Hope your holidays and New Year's were good. You live, they were really fun. Um, so, I have an idea for a stream... And um, I'd like to do this for charity, but for New Year's, I ended up playing Just Dance. And it was so much fun. I got, like, back into it. And I was like, what if I do Just Dance, but, like, in cosplay to raise money for, I don't know, something. Because it's not like I can monetize that stream anyway, you know. With all the music, it'll definitely get copyright flagged. But at least some good can come out of it, so save the tigers or something. And I was like... Like, just imagine me doing the Macarena as, as Leon, or like, uh, I got my Nightwing costume, I could do other dances, like, I think it'd be a lot of fun. We'll see. And John, thank you for the three Canadian dollars. I enjoy the 50 facts on random Resident Evil characters. Thank you, I haven't done those in a while. <laughs> Need to get back to them. Oh, I'm so sorry, Rob, yeah. 
No, me and Lisa were literally all set to go, and then I got, I got like the flu. And yes, it was the flu. I checked. I took a test. It was negative. Because it was really bad. I thought I had the... You know what, again. But I am vaxxed and boosted and waxed and spanked and I'm good. Thanks. Much appreciated. Take this! What's my opinion on the Resident Evil 4 beta? Yeah, that would be amazing to get a hold of. Um, the Resident Evil 4 early builds, like with the Hookman and the dolls that come to life, like... Oh, I'd love to try that. Someone made like a fan version and I think I did like a let's play, but it was just like a little demo and it felt nice to play. It was, I think it could have been great. Outer World Dope. <laughs> Thank you for the two pounds. Happy New Year's. New Resi stream. H N. Oh, Happy New Year. <laughs> I was like, her, her, what is H N Y? I, I don't know what's gonna happen. Here. This is what you're looking for, right? Ah, uh, hot trip, hot trip pack. Remember for three months. Thank you so much, and thanks for tuning in. Um, I can't censor a live stream, so this this new YouTube nonsense. I I don't know. I'm I'm gonna limit my bad words, and I'll be good. I don't mind, you know, like following YouTube's rules, but you guys, YouTube didn't tell any of us about the changes. Like, so many of my videos got demonetized. Like, re my Resident Evil Village, Secrets and Easter Eggs, Top 10 Deaths, I knew that was gonna get demonetized. Uh, but then one of my hour of Resident Evil facts got demonetized. I was like, what the fuck? Oops. It looks like we're not gonna find your brother here after all. Oh, goodness. Oh, Haunting Ground, I still need to play that. Hey Fahadu, happy 2023. Lisa's doing great. She says hello to everybody. There's I just no talked to her the other day. To stay any longer than necessary. Let's, Let's split, split up. up. Look, look for any survivors, survivors and get, get out of here. Right. Right. One last thing. <sighs> Yo, Ari Freak. That way we can keep Remember for 14 time. months. Miss your face and voice. Oh my God. Uh, Jessica Field, it's funny that you asked that because I'm really contemplating streaming on Twitch. It's just, the main reason is because when I stream on YouTube, it's like an event. I have to make a thumbnail. I have to like plan it out and it's like, here's the time. Whereas Twitch, you could just go live, you know, and that's it. But I, I don't know how Twitch works and um, like there's just, it, it's a whole new platform that like, you know, behind the scenes, I'm like, ah. And I really would like to do like game development streams or other stuff like that. So I'm, I'm thinking about it, but I don't know. And also I feel like I'm betraying like the platform that I found success on, you know, but if YouTube's just gonna randomly change the rules, maybe I could just sometimes stream on Twitch for fun if I want to, and that'll be that. Oh no, Susie's trying to convert me. Susie, I literally don't know how to use Twitch. like. At one time I opened it and I was like, I don't know what I'm looking at. I, there's like bits and then there's like, there's gifted subs. I have no idea what any of it means. I try to like gift subs to people because I think the creators make money when you do that, but I'm not 100% sure. Like I'm telling you guys, it's like a whole different thing. And I know that it's the other way around too, because I was, uh, Matt RPD told me that when he's on YouTube, he's like, I have no idea how this works. Yeah, we'll see. I think maybe I'll do like casual streams on Twitch, like when I just want to play a game and I don't want to like make a whole thing out of it. And then like, you know, like the, the da 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 da, like I'm streaming for YouTube. I literally, I, I was halfway done with my Zach Fair cosplay and I was going to dress up as him and stream Crisis Core and then I got so embarrassed of the wig and I was just like, no, people are going to make fun of me. And then I didn't finish the uh, the shoulder thing in time. And I was like, okay. And then I got so into the game <laughs> that I forgot to, to make a thumbnail and stream. And then Here. it just never happened. This is what you're looking for, right? 
Daniel Dark Magician, thank you for the two pounds. Good to see bits of the Resident Evil 4 beta in Resident Evil Village. Oh, duh. I was like, what? Yeah, it's it's nice when Capcom reaches back into their old stuff and, you know, like how like uh, Claire had the Elza Walker costume. Uh, fuck. For, um... Oh yeah, the keys are different. I realized I forgot to mention that in the video. They're like this ugly baby poop color instead of being like, I don't know, nice. Oh, I didn't know Djibouti streamed. Is that the guy that does the dubs? Uh, Melzi, I'll always stream on YouTube, regardless. Again, I just mean, like, casual streaming. Like, when I just feel like literally, like, turning on, like, I want to play a game and I don't want to play by myself, I don't want to play with, like, my chat. Also, if I'm doing that, I can, uh, make content out of it because, uh, I've had this idea for a while. There's a huge list of games that when I tell people I haven't played them, the reaction is always like, Oh my god, you've never played blank? What's wrong with you? So I was like, I should play those for like the first time and actually document it because, you know, it's exciting to see someone play a game that you love for the first time. Like, uh, I've never played any Legend of Zelda game. I've never played Minecraft. I've never played Fortnite. I've never played Among Us. I've never played so many games. I've never played Haunting Ground, which that is kind of more along the lines of like normal Ink Ribbon content, but, you know. <laughs> Uh, John, I haven't done videos ranking the weapons. Um, YouTube's got re weird rules about guns, so I kind of like just always put that on the back burner, but yeah, I don't know. I know that they're fictional in their video games. We'll have to see. Plank is awesome. Whole lot of games. Thank you again for the five dollars. Been a fan for a long time. Just showing some love, Kai. Aw, oh, thank you. And you guys know you don't have to donate. I appreciate it, but you really don't have to. I'm just happy that everyone's here. Please help yourself to the drinks and snacks. Take a seat and just chill. We're all hanging out. I've never played Mega Man. I was about to play uh lose, the guy. the Game Boy one. I forgot what it's called. Because it just looks so like Y2K, or not Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, sorry. Um, like the digital one, and then they're coming out with the, the collection or whatever, and I was like, okay, I'll just play that instead, so I'm waiting for that. I'm not leaving YouTube! <laughs> Yes, I will live stream the Dead Space remake. I'm excited about that because I've only played, I think I played a little of the second one, but I, I played the first one back in the day and I remember it was really fun. I've started uh, forcing myself to pre-order games. Uh, I think I was doing it just like on Amazon and just they'll send it when they're ready because I'm too, I realize I'm too much of a nostalgia junkie. I like older games to the point that I'm starting to get left behind because every time there's a new game that isn't a remake, I hesitate and then everybody's playing it and then I have FOMO and then like by the time I finally get around to playing it, like it's over, like everyone's moved on to a new game and I need to stop doing that. So I pre-ordered Street Fighter 6 even though I suck at Street Fighter. And then I pre-ordered another game that I can't remember right now. <laughs> Daniel Target Magician, thanks again for the two pounds. Livestream, Kai's match game. Kai hasn't played blank. Exactly. Although I, w so the reason I got the idea, Jesus, was there's a girl, I love Final Fantasy X. Like I love it, it's one of my top five all time favorite games. And there was a girl who, Oh, I'm out of ammo. Oh, snap. 
she posted a, a video like playing Final Fantasy X for the first time and she kind of just took her Twitch live stream and cut it up. And she was like legit, like just sobbing at the ending by the time she got to it. And it, it made me like tear up because I remember feeling that. And it's this weird thing of watching someone play a game you've already played, like makes you feel those emotions again or something. And I know that there's older games that are really, really special to people, the same way Resident Evil is special to us. So, you know, it's just more content, more stuff for us to to do together as a community and all that jazz. Well, I don't know if RE4 Remake is right around the corner. Wait, January, February, March. Oh, I guess two months. Yeah, it kind of is around the corner, but... Oh yeah, I got my collector's edition. It's coming in the mail. Was it Nixie? I don't think so. Maybe? She's British. If that helps. I think. Oh god, now I don't know. <laughs> I'll look it up in, in a second. Thankfully, we've got loading. I played Final Fantasy X for the first time. Yeah, Nixie Puff. That was her. And one of my favorite comments on that video, <laughs> someone was like, I came here to watch this girl get emotionally devastated. <laughs> And I was like, that's exactly why I clicked on it, too. People are weird, aren't they? Sorry, I'm just, I'm getting to, I'm getting past all the stuff that hasn't been changed in the prototype. So, we're going to go back and forth between, I'm playing Resident Evil 2, to like, whoa, this is so different. It's mainly the labs that are different, although, um, you saw Chief Iron's room and the video was like, there's like a bear... Rob Gamers Guides, thank you for joining Silver. Do you make guides? Like strategy guides? Oh, she's your friend. Okay, well, you can tell her that I loved that video and it made me very happy to share that uh, emotion or, or whatever. All right, let's go. Oh, I can't leave without opening this door. Do I think Revelations 1 or 2 is better? Okay, first of all, I don't have anything against Revelations 2. I just, I only played it like once or twice and I don't really remember it. I need to get back to it so I can make, you know, a Secret Sea Strikes video on it. Having said that, I think... Much to my surprise, I think I like one better. I just feel like it was a really unique experience, but it still felt like Resident Evil. Even though Claire is in Revelations 2, I don't know. Oh, love from Las Cruces. I'm from El Paso. What's up? Is he A? I found it on the internet. No, and Revelations has a happy memory for me because that was the game that they were promoting when I went to the, um, the Capcom Cafe, or the Resident Evil Cafe. Which I do have two videos on that. There's one where I tell the story and one where I actually found the footage a couple months later and I was like, oh my god, I did have video of this. Oh my god, the birds. Run away. Wait, what did I just pick up? Crank, jewels, oh. I... I played it on the 3DS. I had one of the original copies of Revelations that had the, the misspelled name on the side and everything. It said Ra Reveladians or something. Like, it, I don't remember how they spelled it, but it was like, what? 
Supplies. I will say Revelations 2 was interesting in the whole sort of like TV show format. Um, I, I kind of like that. I wanted to see more... You know, we all want to see more of the characters and stuff. Like, that's one thing Capcom I don't think realizes is we would literally watch a TV show with Resident Evil characters that had nothing to do with horror or zombies, you know? There you go. Revelations. <laughs> I wish I had kept that because it's become a collector's item. Not that I would sell it or anything, but it'd be nice to have just to hold up and be like, look, I'm special. I was forced by my uncle to play Resident Evil 1 when the snakes fall on your head. Aww. <laughs> Uh, Sista, I did go to the Pokemon Center. It was so much fun. I've gotten back into Pokemon recently, too. I, I played uh, Scarlet, and I beat it. My my buddy Dale got me a shiny Venomoth. It was so cool. I've never really been a fan of anything but the games for Pokemon. And before anyone asks, my favorite Pokemon is Porygon. And it always will be. Even though it wasn't in Scarlet or Violet, because Nintendo is... A hateful, spiteful bitch. Okay, diamond key. Okay. I'm mapping it out in my head. <laughs> yeah, diamond. Both, both Revelation games are great. I love both of them. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll do a Revelations 2 live stream at some point, so that way I, I'm like forcing myself to play it and I can take notes, fill you in on my process of at least the beginnings of when I'm working on videos. That's a different doorknob sound. Yeah, Carl's Carl's sleeping on the floor right now. In his little bed. But again, he's being he's being quite grumpy today, so. Let's see if I know the combination for this. Um, I think the Silent Hill 2 remake is gonna be fine. I guarantee you all they're gonna do is look at Resident Evil 2 Remake and be like, just do what they did and we'll be fine, you know? And also I saw that um, people were worried after Resident Evil 3 Remake that there's gonna be content missing from Resident Evil 4 Remake and they reassured, officially, that not only is there nothing cut, there's a lot more added, which is great news. Just a baguette guy. <laughs> Whoa! Oh no, my shoes! <laughs> Can I just say, like, I love Leon's RPD uniform, but his shoes? Like, what are those? <laughs> Oh, and also, for the Switch, Revelations 2 has an exclusive uh, berry, like, mini-game that's modeled after um, Ghosts and Goblins, or Ghouls and Goblins, whatever the original is called. And it's the only version that has it, as far as I know. I did start a script for Secrets and Easter Eggs for it, and that was one of the first things I found. Oh god, this, you guys, when I played this when I was making my video, it scared the crap out of me. I fucking jumped, I was like, oh god! 
because like it didn't happen when I thought. I thought I was gonna walk over and get the item, and I was like, okay, let me just pick up the shells first, and then boom. Oh crap! I didn't reload. Oh, it scared me so bad. I wish that I had been recording with my microphone because <laughs> who knows what sound I made. Government issued sketchers. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, I am very bored. That was when they the trailer happened. I was like, oh my god, they remade Silent Hill 1. And then when I saw it was Silent Hill 2, I was like, oh. Because I'm sorry, but Silent Hill 1 deserves the remake, not 2. 2 doesn't need a remake. I mean, Resident Evil 4 doesn't really need a remake either, you know? But, I don't know, game company is going to, whatever. but you know we're all going to play it anyway. The way that I see it is, even if it's not exactly what I wanted, companies, uh, the number one way that you communicate with companies is by voting with your wallet. If their sales suddenly either skyrocket or plummet, you send a very, very clear message to them that either we like this or we do not like this. So I try to, you know... Like, even if I wasn't that into Silent Hill 2, I would buy the remake just to let Konami know, like, yes, remember Silent Hill and all those old games that we used to love back when people liked you? Keep doing that. Let's go back to that. <sighs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Mountain Dew Ramen, thank you for the $10. I can relate to starting a new job and not being able to afford decent shoes. Hey. I, I didn't want to say that, but I was thinking the same thing. I was like, I was going to say, these remind me of the shoes that I bought when I worked in fast food. Because <laughs> you have to buy those, like, horribly Here, ugly, uh, right? non-slip shoes, you know? Uh, Jay Ritzy, thank you for the $5. Is there a link to this version? If you dig very deep on the internet, you can find it. Um, unfortunately, it's against like so many laws in terms of service for me to tell you where to find it. I, I really want to. I want to share it with everybody, but I can get in trouble, so um, I have to like be like, I plead a bit. I'm so sorry to everyone, because I would have already shared it. I would have shared it in the link of the video if it wasn't a problem, but... Yeah, that's just the way the cookie crumbles, you know? Oh, I know, the Metal Gear Solid 3 Pachinko with the most beautiful graphics. It's like, really? <sighs> Marvin? Marvin, you didn't come home for supper last night. Are you okay? Watch out, Leon. He's gonna slap you. <sighs> Daniel Anderson Wetherall, thank you for the 11... Oh, God. Krona? No. I forgot. I'm so sorry, but thank you, and thanks for tuning in. It's nice to see you again. <laughs> I kind of thought that the actor, or the new Luis in Resident Evil 4 remake, kind of looks like the guy who played Leon in Welcome to Raccoon City. Like, just a little bit. But I guess that would make sense. Alright, heart key. I know where to go. We're going to the basement. Hold your fire! I'm a human! Hey, Mohammed. Daniel Dark Magician, thanks again for the five pounds. Uh, Kai, do you think Operation Javier will be in Resident Evil 4 remake? This is what you're looking Possibly for, Code right? Veronica since Krauser is confirmed in the remake. 
I don't know if they'll have like a full-on Operation Javier, but I wouldn't be surprised if they make nods to it because it's sort of like... I know it's supposed to be Krauser's like backstory, but I always feel like it was kind of shoehorned in. Like they're just like, we're going to make the story work and that'll be it. But we'll see, you know, you never know. I'm very curious to see like if they are going to add to Resident Evil 4 Remake, like what? As long as Leon's RPD uniform is in it, I'm good. Hey, Zayon. Joe Mama, I don't think they're going to restock it, unfortunately. I tried my best to tell everybody because I learned the hard way. If you don't buy it right then and there, it's gone. And, guys, please, please don't buy from scalpers unless they end up so desperate they sell it for just what it would have normally cost because like that's why they keep doing it is because people are like you know they're giving them money same with the ps5 stay strong i haven't bought my my jill statue even though i've thought about it i thought about getting a bootleg one too As you can see behind me, I got Leon and Chris, but no Jill. Now I'm going to have two Leons. I'm going to have baby Leon and daddy Leon. <laughs> so you'll notice this doesn't have the numbers, but I remember the order to do it. It's, uh, the top is 14 and the bottom is 36. That's how this puzzle works. Or it might be the other way around, but either way. And the locker key. This is, ooh, this is where it gets interesting. Everyone's like, what's gonna happen? <clears throat> oh, sorry, I got, I got everyone too excited. I still have to get the, the weapon card and all that, but you'll see. We're gonna meet a, a new character. Her name is Ada Wong. She's a spy. She's very mysterious. I still don't know what her deal is. What if I walk backwards here? <laughs> it's like, what the? The um, the van says Dale nine one one instead of Dial nine one one. I don't know if you've ever noticed that. And emergency is spelled wrong as well. You know me and my trivia. I can't help myself. See, it says emergency with an EY, and then it says Dale 911. <laughs> oh. I love it. To Mamu, thank you for the $5. Hi, have you ever heard of an RE ish game called Us and Them? Yes, I have. And also Endless Blue. Yes, I think so. I was checking itch.io. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is what you're looking for, right? Yeah, and this blue is kind of more of a demo. Uh, I am on itch.io all the time. There are so many amazing indie games. In case you guys don't know, like... Ada, wait! wait! I'm talking! Um, itch is just like... It's like YouTube, but instead of people uploading videos, they're uploading video games, and a lot of them are free. It's a really, really fun creative place. I'm, I'm literally on there all the time. I even just released a couple uh, PS1 asset packs because I'm working on a PS1 style Resident Evil game and I was like, I already made these models, I might as well, you know, sell them so other people can make their own games. But yes, I am very aware and I'm glad that you are too. 
Let me guess. You must be Ben, right? Get up. Now. What do you want? I'm trying to sleep here. Is this the guy? Ben? You told the city officials that you knew something about what's been going on, didn't you? <laughs> what did you tell them? Oh, you guys. And who the heck are you? I'm trying to find my boy. <laughs> Fong Ling is like John. Diet he Ada. A branch office of Umbrella based in Chicago, but he suddenly disappeared 6 months ago. I heard a rumor that he's here in the city. I don't know anything. And even if I did, why would I want to tell you? How dare you? Okay, I say we leave him in there. Does anyone know where they put the key to this cell? Yeah, a Parasite Eve remake would be awesome. I, have it right here, I think it'll happen eventually. But I'm not about to leave this cell. Those zombies aren't the only things crawling around out there. <laughs> yeah, if they remake Resident Evil, I don't know what they're gonna call it. Like I said, I'm not leaving. The Resident Evil remake remaster Ultra HD Hyper Flash Edition. I'm not going anywhere. I'm the only cop left alive in this building. What? Look, if you want to live, then you're going to have to leave with me. I like this version of Ben. But do you even know how to get out of the city? There's a kennel in the back of the building. Inside oh. the kennel is a manhole. Go through and it'll lead you to the sewer entrance. But yeah, Ada. We got to go through the manhole. All right, I'm going. Yeah, I bet you are. I'm sure all the classics will get remade. Me and well, one of my friends that I went to college with have been talking about this a lot. It's like something we end up talking about every time we talk on the phone. Like, I haven't made a video about this because it's sort of an opinion grenade and I don't want to like be that person. But I feel like every game is starting to look and feel the same. Um, just like even the, the menus are not special anymore. Like, I, I just feel like something... You know what I mean? I don't know how to explain it. Like, games used to... Like, okay. Every time you'd play a video game on the PS1, you had to learn how to play it because all of them had different controls. They were still kind of figuring stuff out. Now you can pick up any new game and they all virtually have the exact same controls and features. And I don't understand, like, why. Like, why do they all have to be the same? Um, I forgot to mention, but if you try to open this without killing the dogs, it won't let you. Uh, some text popped up and I had translated it and it said, I can't open this while the dogs are standing around or something like that. Which was not in the final version. Uh, Sawyer Johnston. It may or may not already be there. I cannot confirm or deny that it may be there on Hidden Palace. So I don't know. But if anyone was to look for this, they may or may not be able to find it there. It's not even about reusing, like, assets. That's fine. Like, the graphics have never been the issue. New graphics, great, yeah. But, like, it's just the, um... I don't know, like, the game feel or something. Um... Oh, actually, I'm gonna take all of these now. Meh, <laughs> Um, I'm going to do a save state just for fun because I just remember that this does crash sometimes. Um, yeah, spikers, 
Uh, I'm originally from El Paso, Texas. It's not much to say about it. <laughs> it's like, it's literally the past. Like, keep going. There's nothing here. Wait, what? Yeah, I know, Rob. Like, I I think I know which interview you're talking about. Like, I got a lot of crap for that. But, like, I don't know. I've come to really appreciate older games, especially, like, because, like, uh, for, during the Dreamcast era, especially, they, they tried all sorts of crazy stuff. Games were just all over the place. They were just having fun and making stuff. And that's how we got Shenmue and a whole bunch of other games that are pretty standard now. But that's we could have this argument till the end of time. Give me a boost. I'll go and check. That's actually why I'm on itch a lot because I'm so tired of these corporate games. On itch, you can play a game that was made by one person, and if you've played Stardew Valley or any game made by one person, you know how special and uh, really personal those games can be. And I love it. And also, Itch has a lot of stuff that's not allowed in conventional games. You've got LGBT characters. You've got nudity and sex. You've got, like, um, gameplay that is just weird. I mean, there's all sorts of stuff. And I, I think that that's cool that people can really express themselves that way, you know? Which, by the way, I did do a full RPG Maker course on my tutorial channel because I believe that every child should be given a copy of that program because it encourages creativity and, you know, making video games and all that stuff. In case anyone wants to learn how to make your own games, it's a great place to start. And then you can branch off from there and go on your game dev journey. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. A whole lot of games, thanks for the $2. Are you still working on your game? Yes. And um, uh, I did share a super early build of a messy demo on my, my Patreon. I've got one coming up. Um, JJ is actually going to be a voice in my game, as well as a couple other people, obviously me as well. And um, right now I'm working on the FMB cutscenes, which is like the pre-rendered PS1 cutscenes. And it's surprisingly difficult, or I guess unsurprisingly. So I'm kind of working on that. And um, fun thing about that, I've been studying the cutscenes of Resident Evil 2, and I'll show you in a second when we go back to this. But if you watch them, they're not actually animated the way that you think they are. All it is is the character moves from point A to point B, does whatever animation fits that context, and repeat while the audio of their dialogue is playing in the background. So you'll see Ada will automatically walk to the point she needs to get to, and she'll do some sort of animation, and then Leon will run forward, do his animation. It's it's very simple. And I might do that in my game, because that seems like an easy way to work. Leon, can you hear me? See? That. <laughs> Ada, did you find anything? Right here. Catch. And she doesn't say catch in the original. Ah. <sighs> hey, I can't reach the ventilation hole. I'm going to have to find another way around. I'll catch up with you later. Uh, but thanks for asking about whether I'm working on my game. I'm trying to get the cutscenes done because I want to release a demo, like an actual polished, proper demo for you guys to to try out. I'm really excited. I showed it to a friend of mine who's also a game dev, and he's like. You've got something special here. And I, I, I'm just like, ah. It's, it's, yeah. That's all I can say, because I don't want to spoil it. And Beep, hi. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the dollar. Thanks for tuning in. Beep is one of the Discord peeps. Okay. Um, I'll take my one shotgun shell. We got the hideous <laughs> club key. Which is my favorite of the precinct keys, but not this one. This one's poopy. It has the poopoo. -poo.
Uh, my game is going to be for PC initially, just because the way that it works, it, it's really a whole complicated process to release on consoles. The way that that works, from what I've researched, is... Oh, fuck. So, let's say you want to release on PlayStation. You have to sign up with PlayStation's like development program and all the stuff that goes with that. And then they have to send you a... Um, I don't know if it's like a, a, a key or, or what, but they send you something that you install into your game engine of choice that allows you to export to the correct format that will work on PlayStation consoles. Same thing with the Nintendo, same thing with Android versus Apple, um, Xbox, they're all like that. Some are easier than others, but that's generally the process among all of them. Like, it's not like, I would love if it was a universal system where you just release a game and be like, check PlayStation, check Xbox, yes, release it to all of them. That would be amazing. <laughs> Ah, <sighs> but it does have controller support. Well, except for the menus, because I can't figure that out right now, but. Hello? Oh. How dare you? And there's a gurney in the hallway that has no collision, but it's there. It's Pepsi. Thank you for the five SAR. What is SAR? Oh god. But thank you. Thanks for tuning in. I want to do a video. I don't I I don't know what I talk about, but I, I the title in my head is why Resident Evil characters are so great or so awesome or something. Because there's something about Resident Evil characters that is special, and I can't really put my finger on it. Like, you know what I mean? You guys know. I mean, Leon shouldn't be interesting or remarkable. Neither should Claire or Jill or Chris. They're just like, if you just look at them, they just seem like generic characters. But there's so much more to them. And I think it's it's not about the characters themselves. It's like how they're presented and written and, and all that stuff. You know? Here. Oh, thank this you, B. This is what you're looking for, right? Yeah, I'll I'll be sending prototype versions of my game to all my Patreon and uh, YouTube members, so that you guys can test it out. But you will be, everyone else will get to play the polished versions that are not like a mess, because sometimes, yeah, it can be really really messy. I'll show you guys like. A little bit of it um, if there's time I don't watch UFC I'm sorry I had a friend who was in UFC but I don't remember like the details I think he was only in it for like a little bit and then it didn't work out but that's as far as that goes <laughs> Saudi reals okay one dollar oh thank you Uh, I do not have any Bayonetta anything. <laughs> I've only played Bayonetta 1, and I remember I really, really, like, loved it, and then it moved to the Switch, and then I didn't have a Switch, and I was like, boo. And now I have a Switch, and then I just, like, forgot about it. <laughs> Get Allison Court interview. I know, one day I'll work up the courage to fire? email her. A human. Or Twitter message her and be like, hey. I really wanted to talk to her about the outbreak stuff because she was the voice director on that and there's a lot of stuff that didn't make it into that game. Uh, Elias Bar Bargosh, thank you for the $10. Greetings from San Antonio. Love your channel and content. Will your game be available for Mac as well? Yes, I will be releasing it for Windows and Mac. Thankfully, I at least have that option. I just spit all over myself. <laughs> I know some of you are into that, but I'm not. Okay. Oh. Yeah, so this hole is not supposed to be here. You're not supposed to be able to see it.
but I guess the mask that covers it just isn't visible right now. Or something. And I know that because if you walk away from it, the hole is gone. See, like, if you stand here, it's gone. So that tells me that it's not supposed to be there yet. I'm telling you, early versions of games, they're, they're a mess. And I should just mention this now. My internet's been cutting out every now and then. So if I suddenly disconnect, uh, that's why. And I'll just I'll restart the stream, but just letting you guys know. Yep, Hideki Kamiya. Hideki be like, block. I'm scared to ever reach out to him in any capacity because he's just gonna block me and I'll be like, I'm sorry, <laughs> I was just saying hello. Okay. Oh fuck, I forgot to go to the weapons locker. I forgot to show you guys, well actually no, I'm gonna go back there anyway, so. Never mind. But now I'm going to go this way. Because we're going on an adventure. We're going on a journey. I pronounced it right. Okay, good. I was like, oh. <laughs> You're blocked by him. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what's crazy is um, everyone associates Resident Evil with Shinji Mikami. And he was the creator but after Resident Evil 1, he was done with Resident Evil. He wanted to go do other stuff, but Capcom was like, no, like you will keep working on this franchise. And that's why Hideki Kamiya directed the second one, because Shinji Mikami was just like, here you go, I don't want to work on this series anymore, you take care of it. And uh, Capcom, I think, offered him, like, like, they're like, let us keep making Resident Evil games, and we'll keep you on board as, like, whatever, like a consultant or something, and he said, sure. So that's that's how that happened. But could you imagine being the creator of Resident Evil and just being like, eh? Looking for right? Uh, Mukesh Solanki, thank you for the twenty. Oh God, whatever that currency is. Why does YouTube not translate currencies? Well, I guess now that it's better that way. I should not blame YouTube. I should blame my public education system because I should know these. But thank you. Serbia greets you all. <laughs> nah, Andy's my bro. He's a really good guy. Well, and also, like, we don't know what was going on behind the scenes. You know, people are really overworked sometimes, and all sorts of weird stuff happens, especially in the gaming industry. Like, <laughs> when I went to school for it, um, I went to school for video game design, and, like, our professors told us, they're like, you're going to get fired. You're going to, like, be sleeping under your desk. Like, figure it out. And it was just like, okay. And then I graduated with no job offers. Actually, no one I knew got job offers, so that was fun. $70,000 well spent on my education. <laughs> Thank you, Saint Tadora. Uh, Freaky Deek. Oh, this is, uh, the, the chute isn't finished yet, so instead of sliding down the chute... <laughs> we just open a door. Uh, Freaky Deek, thank you for the uh, three pa three euros. Sorry, Shinji did come back for Resident Evil Four. Um, I don't think he changed his mind. I think it was just like it became such a big project that he just was like, okay, I need to be involved. And it was, you know, it was a new take on the series. Oh, Beep, are you an art student too? Oh, so many of you guys 
I know are like in art school and I'm right there with you. I did all that stuff, the nude models, the the weird classmates, yep. <laughs> art school's fun and very, very expensive. Oh yeah, YouTube totally worked out for me, so I'm just saving my money and doing my other stuff. <laughs> and work on your own projects. If you're an arts, an artist in any capacity, YouTube, ArtStation, DeviantArt, whatever. Make video games. Make something that you can like sell and also have as a portfolio piece. I am telling you right now, I wish I had been working on games from being a child to now. Where will you be when your diarrhea hits? Can you imagine he's just like... <laughs> Carl's giving me the stink eye. Where are you going, Ada? To the chemical plant. I have a feeling that's where I'll find John. Ada, wait. Hey. Aw, oh, thank you, it's Pepsi. All the way from Saudi Arabia. You read me, Claire. We now have access to the back of the parking lot. Your mom cried. <laughs> I'm getting out of here and heading to the sewer. She had a good reason to cry. But, like, it's better to go to art school and do something you want to do, even if it's, like, going to be a problem, than to become, like, a doctor or a lawyer to please your parents when it's something you don't want to do. Like, that's why I went to school for video game design. I took a year off from college because I was like, I don't know what I want to do, but if I'm going to spend all this money, I need to think about it. And then I finally was like, you know what? I've always wanted to learn 3D graphics. That's my passion. And, you know, when I was a kid... Like, being like, I want to make video games. That was like, you know, I want to be an astronaut. And everyone's like, yeah, okay. But look at how far technology's come. People can make video games in their bedrooms now. Like, it's crazy. So, you never know. But it's your life. So, live your life to the fullest and drink water. Ah, don't poison me. Carl, wait. Um... It's a little messy. I'll show you. I'll show you where Carl is, so you can see. Um, so Carl is right there. <laughs> He's just sleeping next to my Code Veronica painting and my play button. <clears throat> so there you go. Now you guys know where Carl is. You've got it all sorted out. Um. Navy Lax, video games are not as hard to make as you'd think anymore, especially like, I mean, there there is simple programs like RPG Maker that takes a lot of the work out of it, but in uh, Unreal Engine, you don't even need to code. You still have to like pseudo program, but it's made for people like me, it's called visual programming. And what it is, is you, um, you just connect nodes. So it's like the character and then connect to this and then this behavior and you just have to kind of figure out how that works, but if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be making video games. But uh, it's taken me a couple of years of playing with it to get familiar with it, and you know, you just gotta do tutorials and just keep at it. And you too can make video games. And then that's where it becomes some people are better at doing art, some people are better at doing code. You just have to figure out what you are. But yeah, anybody can make games. Um, although game design is a whole nother thing. That's that's when it gets hard because people don't realize that indie developers have to do like 10 different jobs. Like I can't make music, you know, then there's like sound effects and then there's game design and then there's like room layouts or, or whatever and voice acting and animating and you know, it starts to really add up. So I guess to, to say all that out loud, maybe it's not that easy to make video games. But if you're passionate about it, you know, you should at least try and just kind of see what it's like because then you'll be like, I can do this, or you'll be like, nope. 
But if anybody is interested in uh, getting started and you're like, I don't even know how to make a game or what to do first, I 10 out of 10 would recommend RPG Maker. I know that it has like a reputation for being like a crappy engine, but when it's something that is so easy a child can use it, of course there's going to be bad games for it. So... There's Ada not falling through the ceiling. What was that all about? Running, Running up off like that, that was reckless, reckless and stupid. stupid. I know, Leon. I was there. Duh. Thank you, Jordan. Um, I I didn't make the music for my album. I just sang and wrote the songs and like the melodies. I had to reach out to a music producer and be like, "Could you make this like sound good and have like music to go with it?" Although I did recently discover a program for making music that is like really really good. Um, I want to play with it some more and then maybe do like some tutorials or show it off because more people need to know about it. Like it's one of those programs that you basically can't make bad music because it just like, I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, it's amazing because making music is like an amazing talent that I do not have. Crap! I forgot to go to the thing again. Okay, hold on. We're going back. I'm so sorry. Oh, I can fast forward. Oh crap, I don't know what the room is called though. Okay. This is the, the magic jumping around. But I don't know what these words are. My Japanese isn't good enough. Nope. Uh oh. Oh, that I broke the game. Oh god, this is getting scary now. I'm like, ah. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go back the normal way, because I'm gonna... Oh crap, I'm on Claire's side, aren't I? What's what called? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, One Bit Dragon. I don't know why that's what it's called. But it, I, it's good. I, I literally just played around with it for like an hour and I made some pretty decent music I was like all right uh oh wait I can't move I'm controlling someone off screen uh oh okay I'm gonna save state because I think I'm breaking the game <laughs> I can't see. Oh, oh, oh snap. <laughs> Yo, Leon, what's up, man? <laughs> I don't know what I did, but <laughs> there's two Leons. Okay. I just want to go back to the RPD basement. Alright, close enough. We're just going to go from here because... Oh, crap, no. Okay, it must be in the 300s. Oh, you guys. Yeah, with like the neon lights and my album and all that, that was just kind of like a passion project for myself because I was like, I want to release an album one day, and then I just did it, and I was like, okay, bucket list. Oh, you fucking crap. Bacon and grits, what's up? 
gold member for four months. Happy four months. Hope all is well. Hope you had a great new year. Aw. I hope you guys had a good new year too. Death to 2022. <laughs> Oh, is Susie in here? She's been stopping in now and then to harass me, tell me how much she hates me. Oops. All right, hold on. I gotta, I gotta glitch myself a blue herb. Do 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 do. Okay, let's go. Okay, now I can show you guys the locker. I'm just gonna fast forward a little bit. Super speed. Okay, now I can show you one of the major changes. <clears throat> So, in the original, there's only one locker that opens, and you get to choose either the, the submachine gun, the side pack, or both. And in this one, uh, you have a locker key that opens uh, one of them, but you can only use the key once, for whatever reason. And whichever item you don't take will appear in the second scenario lab room, where you have to do the fingerprint thing. But when it's the side pack, that late in the game, it's kind of like pointless. So I'm guessing that's part of the reason they changed it. I'm going to take the side pack because obviously ammo and stuff is not an issue. But in case you ever wondered what this locker looks like on the inside, it's almost identical to the other one. I didn't go into game design. Yeah, game, game design is like a whole thing. I've, I've sort of learned that that's my talent as a game dev. I'm not the best artist or programmer, but like I'm really passionate about design. Oh, bacon and grits! Congratulations, everybody who just got a gifted uh, membership. Thank you so much, buddy. That's really, really generous of you. Thank you. <laughs> there you go, Saint Adora. Is there a backstory to Bacon and Grits? Or is it a secret? A, a closely guarded secret that you can never share? Phase. You lose, big guy. Phaser Lich? Phase R Lich? Thank you for the 17. DKK. Ah! Donkey Kong Country. <laughs> oh, you guys. Thanks again, Bacon and Grits. That's really, really nice of you. It's appreciated by everybody here. Yeah, the MP5 is in here, but um, I th I think it's for Hunk. I don't remember if it's actually in the final game because I've only played Hunk's minigame like twice in my life. All right, is Ada still? Where did Ada go? Ada! Um, I found it through a lot of Googling, and I sort of just accidentally stumbled onto it after going through some really sketchy websites. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I gave compu my computer aids finding it, but it was worth it. Alright, we are good. I'll take that. Okay. Alright, everything's back in order. Let's go. And Ada, if you see a, a guy down there who looks exactly like me, just... Uh, just don't worry about it.
Ada, no! Leon, that woman was. I have to talk to her. God, not even. Are you okay? <laughs> like, let me make sure he's not dead. She's just like, I'll be right back. Uh, something more important is going on. <laughs> yeah, beep. Cats just could do what they do. Carl loves to get on my desk, and there's certain things that he will just... He apps no tolerance for them being on my desk. Like my chapstick, or my... Uh, I have a thing of, like, gum or mints. He just... He's like, nope, knocks it right off. Walks across my keyboard. <sighs> Don't move. You're the one who was with that cop, if I'm not mistaken. Identify yourself. Ada. Ada Wong. Ada Wong. I like how Ada just tells everybody her name. Like, it's like, aren't you a spy? No. Did you have like a code word or something? John. Oh, Ada and John. Whatever. How did you know? Oh, guy gamer hats. Thank you for the twenty dollars. Thanks for streaming my favorite game of all time. Aw, oh, thanks so much. And thanks for tuning in. Thanks. Much appreciated. Take this! He became one of those zombies. My condolences. And although I regret this. You will be joining him shortly. I won't let anyone take Oops. the G virus from me. G virus? Wait, what happens if I it's capable of creating the ultimate bio weapon? Are the animations gonna be off? Then that must mean the creature in the police department is precisely my husband, William. And it's all umbrellas <laughs> None of this would have happened if they hadn't tried to steal his research away from him. Oh, Adam, I'm going to be playing Resident Evil games until YouTube ceases to exist or I die. <laughs> William should have lost any prior memories he had as a human by now. Even worse, every G virus bioweapon, including William, has the ability to implant. Uh, thank you, Fresh Cheeses. I try my best because I know that it's like fun to. To be called out by name and be like, hey, we're we're all in this together. K.O. Too bad. <laughs> Ada's like, anyway, what were they doing? Oh, uh, King, King Grogus S.W. Rojas, thank you for joining Bronze. And for tuning in. This is the scream Ada does, like she got a pinky up the butt without expecting it. <laughs> Ada. Part of the Inky team. <laughs> If Resident Evil didn't exist, what would have been your favorite game? Oh, God. Well, see, I want to say Tomb Raider or Metal Gear Solid, but both of them are just not what they used to be. So I'm like, I don't know. Um, It would probably be one of those. Probably Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear. Colonel, your mom has a floppy vagina. Ooh, but how does it taste? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Silent Hill is interesting because I love it, but it scares me to my core. <laughs> so, like, it's not always fun to play. Like, when I played Silent Hill 1 back in the day, I think I was, like, I don't know, 10 or 11. 
and I couldn't play it if the sun had gone down. I'd get so scared and I'd get nightmares, but like I loved it and I wanted more. Resident Evil was kind of more fun, scary, like action movie scary, you know? <laughs> Ooh, that would be a great super chat. But how does it taste? Hmm, I'll think about that one. Oh, and I'll show you guys. I don't know if you know, but you can kill the alligator if you have enough firepower without using the the gas tank thing. But like, you basically can only do it with like the infinite super weapons. It's it's almost impossible to do it without because it's just it takes so much to kill that thing. And I'm going to, well, I'll make a save state when I'm closer to the alligator because sometimes it doesn't go the way it's planned. Carl's here sleeping on the floor, being a brat. All right. Let's do, I'll do the Gatling gun because I never use that. Safe state. I cannot imagine. Imagine how scary this would be in real life. <laughs> like, I'd be like, what the? F Oh, oh shit. Die! There we go. And he's supposed to break the wall, and there's like a big hole, but I guess because this wasn't finished yet, they didn't add that in. Um, also, I found out if you kill him like that, he... Okay, I was like, is that in the game? There's sirens. Somebody, somebody's in trouble. Or a baby ate a penny or something. But, um, yeah, I didn't know that if you don't kill it with the gas canister, it reappears in the second scenario. So, I learned something while making my video. He's like, bitch, they shot me and you just ran away, what the hell? That's two I owe you. Don't mention it. They're coming for me. <laughs> oh no, they found out that I pirated this prototype or whatever. Never mind. Let's just get out of here. The sooner the better. Um, yeah, so, uh, I was in touch with the developers of the Resident Evil 1 fan remake and Code Veronica remake, and, uh, literally just a couple days before it was announced that they shut it down, they had told me, hey, don't stream it yet, because we're working on a new version, and I was like, okay, cool, and I was waiting for them to tell me, and then I found the news of it getting shut down. Some people think that it's a sign that they're going to do a Resident Evil 1 remake, or maybe Code Veronica remake, I don't know, because that isn't necessarily always the case. And they even went out of the way to explicitly say we're not working on those projects, but of course they can't say, you know, anything otherwise. I would love 
them to just keep remaking. Like, are we gonna get to the point where there's Resident Evil 1 remake, 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 you know? <laughs> but we'll, we'll see. And Ty Harris, thanks again for the two dollars. Did they explain where Rebecca is during Resident Evil 2 and 3? I don't think they ever do. She was just somewhere. She didn't get an epilogue, so we don't know. Everyone else got an epilogue. Agreed, Saint Tajorad. If you want it put in your hole, or you put in someone else's hole and everyone's okay with it, then... No problem. Or if there's no one putting anything in any holes, that, that works too. I think asexuality is like a superpower. Like, just imagine all the stuff you'd get done never pursuing or wanting sex. <laughs> like, I'd get so much more work done. <sighs> Anywho, let's not go down that conversation road. <clears throat> the hell was that sound? Let's go, adventure time, woo! <laughs> Any holes a goal? <laughs> yeah, Ada, how do you like it? I'm just gonna walk away, not check on you. They're like, oh, she just got a claw upside the head. Hold on, I gotta go check over there. I like to let Ada take care of William here. I just noticed there's no debris. Oh, there it is. I've I've really been wanting to play Resident Evil 2 Remake again. I haven't played it in like forever. Like I haven't even played it with the new whatever they added were like the graphics like ray, ray tracing or whatever whoa holy crap uh alex johnson thank you for the hundred dollars my goodness uh glad to see you live glad to see you here seeing me live thank you so much that's really really generous of you You hear that, Carl? You're gonna be okay. I can get you that little cat wheelchair you, you needed. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oops, I didn't mean to take that. Oh, I don't need the shotgun parts. I'm not gonna kill Ada on this part because it's really hard to set up. Did my emote not pop up for that? There it is. Thank you so much, Alex. I really, really... You did not have to do that. My goodness. <laughs> I, I tell you guys, you don't have to donate. It's really appreciated, but I always like... I'm like, I don't know what's happening. Alright. Well, in honor of your donation, let's go check out the mysterious hole that is... The thing that I, I am most curious about. What is this? What's the story here? What happened? What was supposed to be here? I, can't, I, I looked and looked. I could not find anything. <sighs> and yes, Carl is neutered. He was neutered before I got him. Um, yeah, Ada just dies, and then when you go into the next room, she's, like, back. There's no game over or anything. It's just, it's really, really hard to set it up. I have, like, 30 minutes of footage of me trying to kill her. <laughs> I 
glory hole. Worst glory hole ever. Thanks. Much appreciated. <sighs> Take this. Thank you, Alan Fowler, for the $5. Did Capcom give up on the evil within? Is that why they're just remaking Resident Evil games? I love Resident Evil, but new games would be cool too. No, I know how you feel. Like, I I obviously am a really big Capcom fan in general. That's why I want to try the, the Mega Man games and all that stuff. And I'm excited about uh, Returnal. Or no, what is that game called? I'm really excited about that game that I can't remember the name of right now. It's the the game that's on the moon. I think it starts with a P. There's like a little girl. But anyway, and then there's like Exo Primal. So I I want to give Capcom franchises more of a chance because I really just respect them as a company. I feel like they've treated their fans very well, and I want to reward that. Basically, you know, anti Konami. <laughs> Where Konami's like, screw you guys, and your stupid Silent Hill and Metal Gear, you all can go die, we're gonna make all these terrible decisions, there's nothing you can do about it. <sighs> that crinkling is Carl laying on a paper bag, instead of laying in his bed... Oh yeah, Capcom didn't do Evil Within. They also didn't do Ghostwire Tokyo, which I was really excited for. Um, that's Shinji Mikami's projects, because again, he was over Resident Evil from the get-go and wanted to work on his own projects, and he did. He started his own studio, which is... I forgot the name of his studio. But yeah, those are all Shinji Mikami's projects, which is kind of why... Evil Within has that Resident Evil flavor. Oh yeah, this cutscene's not finished. Do I like Pachinko? I've never played Pachinko. I don't even know how it works. I walked by Pachinko parlor Parlors and it was... It was crazy because it'd be quiet and then the doors open and it's so loud with all the machines going off and then the door closes and it's silent again. It's just like... Oh, Carl went into his little bed. Tango game works. There you go. Thank you. I'm just not able to remember things right now for some reason. Did you get Carl an RPD cat collar? Um, he doesn't like to wear collars. He really... he'll take them off. So, uh... He's microchipped and, you know, he's got rules. I'm going to build him a catio, though, so that by the time winter's over, he can he can have that. I think he'll really, really enjoy it because he, he wants to go outside all the time, but I am not going to deal with a cat getting hit by a car. I, I refuse. So it's a way for him to be outside and stay safe and healthy. Ah! Ooh. Sorry, I just gotta focus for a second. I'm just gonna use the Gatling gun, screw it. I have no time for this right now, William. You lose, big guy. Alex Johnson with another hundred dollars. Oh my god. I have a sugar daddy, you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. I don't know what to say. Um, have you ever played the Seamless HD mod? Yes. 
the, uh, the majority of my footage that I use from the classic games that I use in my videos is recorded from the, the seamless mod. It's like chef's kiss. Because it makes such a difference. Because there's stuff that you legitimately can't see on the PS1 version. It's just a blurred mess of pixels. And then on the HD mod, it's like clear as day. It's like, whoa. Come on. Wake up. Oh. Come on. Wake up, Ada. <laughs> and then she does. But apparently she's unconscious again. Ah, oh, goodness. Oh my god, did you see the zombie standing there? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Leon's just like, what's up? Welcome back. Oh god. Hey, <sighs> easy. We're inside Umbrella's secret lab. I'll go find something to treat Hello, so E Lab and Deathmatch. I'll only slow you down. I did get a harness for Carl, and it turned into a nightmare. I told you, it's my job to look after you. But you'll be in danger. Let me see. I'm pretty sure I've got a picture that I could show you. I've only known you for a short period of time, but I really enjoy being with you. I or not. I. I know. I'm not capable of caring about anyone, but I don't want to lose you. I have to show you guys a picture of me and Carl on Halloween. Wait here for me. I'll be right back. Just super quick. So I was Nightwing, and he had a little like medieval knight helmet. So this is this is us on Halloween. Try not to get the reflection. He's so cute. Anyway, I'm such a cat dad now. Like. Oh my god. Oh. Ooh, Magnum ammo. Oh, thank you, Farzan. Shit. <laughs> you got me. He only let me have that on him for like, I don't know, 30 seconds before he was just like, no. Uh, you'll notice here that all the areas of the lab are painted white with the lights instead of the blue and red to tell you where to go. Just a little thing. There's also a different uh, sign on the wall in here. <clears throat> is laboratory that's how you spell it in British English it's the laboratory it's literally the laboratory and here's an extra bit of audio that I don't know why it's here but it is so this is what everyone's been dying this is it, you guys. Umbrella. It's not about the T-Virus. Everybody's been dying because of this. I like my name is in the shoutouts for YouTube members. Oh, yeah, so... Um, it's, it's really frustrating because with the YouTube members and the Patreon and stuff, I don't have any way to just open a list that says, like, here's all your active members and here's, you know, people who left. I have to manually put them in myself, and it's just so frustrating, so I'm sorry about that. Um, I do it every couple of, like, weeks because it's, like, you know, so I'm sorry, Fresh Cheese. It's not intentional, it's just their tools are not really, like, creator-friendly. It's very- oh, I forgot to put the views in. Sedant Boxy? 
Did I say that right? Thank you for the 400... Uh, India. What are these in India? Rupals? Anyway, love your content, Kai. I love from India. Would you ever consider doing an Easter eggs for Revelation Stew? Yes, I was talking about that earlier. Um, I just... I... I try to be f as familiar as I can with a game before I do a video on it, and I've only played Revelations 2, like, twice. In fact, uh, thanks to, you know, my supporters, I will probably end up buying both the Switch and the regular version, just so that I can make sure to... Oh, crap. Which way did I go? No, I need to go this way. Uh, Here. This is what you're looking for, right? To make sure there's not any other differences between those, like with the Barry minigame and all that. I do want to do a video on that, trust me. Hey guys, what's up? I admit, I love the ivy plants. But yes, Revelations 2 will, will come at some point, I promise. I'm so sorry that I keep, like, delaying it. Can I do any other voices? Um, oh god. Now I'm on the spot. Uh, I have to warm up a little bit, but I, I don't know why I can do Alfred's voice. Out of all the characters in Resident Evil, he's the one that I can do his voice the best. <clears throat> Hold on, I have to mute my mic so I can practice. No, I can't do it right now. <laughs> but if you go to my Code Veronica uh, reading the files, or narrated files video, I did a pretty good Alfred. <gasps> oh my god, it just crashed. Like, completely. Like, the emulator just closed. Well then. Alright, give me a second to get it back up. <laughs> That's what... He said. Beta. What the? <laughs> okay, apparently we're at the lab all of a sudden. Um. No, I don't want to. I don't even know where I am. Hold on. Load state. Oh God. All right, we're gonna we're gonna jump ahead a little bit. Elevator. Bon Pustu. What's that? Oops, that's not the room. That's that's scenario two. I'm not even supposed to be here. Oh god, I'm gonna get arrested. Main shafto. I don't play Resistance anymore. I miss it. Resistance was a lot of fun. Um, all right. We're gonna convert our Gatling gun into the fuse because that's what you can do in this version. Ba -da -ba -da, do -do -do -do. I want to wad you up into my life. Alex Johnson! Okay, enough. <laughs> Stop. Thank you for the another hundred dollars. Jeez, I'm gonna have to donate to charity. Um, oh, let me save state. I'm getting all flustered, you guys. Ah, um, have you played the new randomizer that has Resident Evil 1 characters in Resident Evil 2 and you can play as Richard or Barry? I haven't, but I've seen everybody else playing it, and it looks so fun. Um, I just, I don't know how to set it up, <laughs> but I want to. And thank you, Daniel Drug Magician, for the two pounds. Do you like IVs because you like Uma Thurman? What? <laughs> I, what? 
No, I don't know. The IVs look cool. And also, I found out that the IVs and... Oh, actually, these are called Plant 43 Resident Evil 2 Remake. Those are IVs, and they're different monsters. Those are actually scientists that were killed and infected by spores from Plant 43. I don't know why they're not in the game. Like, we can have both. But yeah, I learned that, and I was like, I didn't know that. Whoa. Goodness. It's hot in here. Uh, did I ever play Metal Slug? I actually recently uh, played it for the first time. And I was amazed at how good the graphics were. Like, the sprite art is no joke in those games. But I'm really bad at them. Alright, let's do this. Huh, when I'm shooting, I have invincibility frames. Get back! Back! Oh my god, die! Ah! <sighs> Am I poisoned? Yeah, I don't think they poison in this prototype. I think it's only the. So, in case you guys didn't know, I found out finally. Uh, I'm. Oh, should I tell you now? I'm working on 50 facts about the nest aka the Resident Evil 2 labs and well you guys are here you're you're the cool people so I'll just tell you but the you know the BOW gas that you can turn on for the longest time I couldn't figure out exactly how it worked or what it did oh there's another IV where a liquor should be so if you want to know how to use it only use it in the second scenario because the way that it works is it makes all the enemies in your current scenario weaker in the lab. So like the ev the evolved liquors and I think also the ivies are like a lot easier to kill. But in the second scenario, they're a lot stronger and also now you have poison ivies walking around. So um, that's how that works in case you didn't know. And for some reason it's in this room to activate it instead of wherever it's supposed to be in the nap room I'm gonna do another safe state cuz that was a little nerve-wracking when it cra crashed um, I'm gonna have to teleport to the secret room because what <laughs> um, I don't know uh, you can't finish scenario a therefore you can't access it in scenario B because I can't transfer like the save file and also, you know, player scenario and all that other stuff. So actually, yeah, let me save state and then we'll try to see if I can find that room in the Japanese names because um, I don't know what it's called. Let's find out what all these rooms are, shall we? Okay, nope. I had to do this, like, just constantly when I was trying to, like, get to the right room to record certain footage. Wait, is this the room? Okay. Soko. G Soko. Oh, well, this is the final boss area, which we'll get to. Elevator, tutorial, Pompitsu. I'm just looking for names that are like different. Welcome back. Oops, wrong room. What is Tudo? I know Migi and Hidari are left and right, but I don't know what Tudo is. Ooh, where's this? Oh, that's the frozen lab? Okay. Lei to Lei to Oh my god. <laughs> Phonetic Japanese can be a little difficult. Okay. CT scan. Yeah, I don't know if it's listed here. Oh, 
Uh, thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Oh, the moth room. I'm not supposed to be in here yet. <laughs> oh! Yeah, like, I can register my fingerprint and everything, but it's not until Scenario 2 that you can even use it, so... I think I did this trying to find the secret room, and I just couldn't. Uh, that's a good one. I completely agree. I know that Claire's Resident Evil 2 costume isn't the most popular, but I absolutely love it. I, like, I think if I was a girl, that's how I'd want to dress. <laughs> I might even dress like that just for fun anyway. Oh, that's a video that I haven't done in a long time that I've been meaning to is, um... Whoa! This lab's a little different. This shelf, I don't think, is here in the original, and you can go over here and be like, what's up? Um, I want to do a tutorial on how to make Claire's vest, but I realized, like, I've got ripped jeans that I'm not doing anything with. I might as well just do her whole outfit, just because. <laughs> like, why not? So if you'd like to see how to make Claire Redfield's costume for a cosplay or whatever... Like and subscribe. Ah. I don't think they've ever mentioned Leon's parents ever. Oh, sorry, audio mix expert. Um, I I I found it in a in a hidden palace of information online, just deep in the forums of places and stuff. Why do I still have the valve handle? So what I'll do is I'll finish scenario A, and then in scenario 2 I'm just going to teleport to the rooms to show you the differences. We don't have to play through the whole thing, because... You know. Yeah, so this is different. Instead of the uh, the big computer kiosk and MoDisc, it's just like a little panel and a key. Which really does not carry the same weight. I'm glad they changed that. The minigun for Jill and Chris is only in the PC version. I didn't know they had a minigun. Uh, how tall am I? I recently measured myself because I ordered a Power Ranger costume thing, the the suit that they wear. Anyway, um, I'm like 5'10 and a half, which I'm of course going to say I'm 5'11. <laughs> so I'm not that tall, but I am taller than Leon, so that's, that's something. Not that it matters, though. I'd... I'd be happy if I was a short king. It's no big deal. The skincare routine. This is my skincare routine. Drink water. Ah, look at that. Hydrating from the inside out. Also, here's 37 products that I use. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> No, because I got, um, okay, look, I'll show you. You you see my whole cosplay, like, setup. This is where I work on all my costumes and stuff. So over here, again, it's messy, I know. So you see, there's my sewing machine, my Power Rangers helmets, and then my Zack wig that just did not turn out as good as I wanted. So I got the Power Ranger helmet, and then I was like, oh, my God. And then I was like, oh, crap, I need a suit and the boots and everything to go with it, and then... I had to order those, which I thought those would be the easy thing to find, and I was very wrong. So here, instead of the MoDisc, we have this key, again. <sighs> mm. 
Leon is not real, but his height is officially listed at 5'8". Wow, do I really know Leon's height off the top of my head? Am I that... <laughs> like, hold on, I have to verify if that's true. How tall is Leon S. Kennedy? Inches. Oh, 5'11". The, the gamer. I don't know if that's accurate. Anyway. Okay, never mind. I'm not taller than Leon. But I'm more or less the same height as Leon. I'll take it. You oh, this cutscene is great. Murdered my husband. I know what you're looking for. You came for the Q virus, didn't you? Take it from me. This is my husband's legacy. Now, where's that spy you were working with earlier? You know who I'm talking about. What? You really don't know anything, do you? <laughs> <laughs> this does not carry the same way without the music. She's one of the operatives sent here by the agency. The only reason why she came here is to obtain the G-Virus. That's a lie. No, it's the truth. I discovered this when I did a background check on her. She specifically got close to John and became his girl. I like how he's like, I know her. It's like, no, you don't. That can't be. I know her. <laughs> Ada wouldn't do something like that. If you don't want to believe it, I don't really care. You're about to die anyway. You guys ready? This is this is changed. Ada! <laughs> oh god. Yeah, I don't know what any of that says. It goes by too fast to translate it with my phone, so I'm just like, whatever. Oh, this music, I forgot about it. This music sucks. I hate it so much. Actually, I'm gonna let this cutscene play. I'm gonna go pee real quick. Enjoy, you guys. I'll be right back. Back. What happened? Did Ada and Leon fall in love? What did they miss?
Oh, is it lower? He's like, Ada. Oh my god, imagine Resident Evil the Opera. I would totally fucking go to that. I'd be in like that top thing with the little binocular thing, just being all fancy, like, oh yes. I would totally see an, a Resident Evil. Well, I guess I'm biased. I would, <laughs> I would enjoy Resident Evil anything. I'd probably eat Resident Evil cereal if they had it. And I'm sure all of you would too. <laughs> yeah, Jake. I'm really sad about that. <sighs> Mental health is important. And uh, this room is completely different. Totally unfinished. Uh, this elevator never comes. Doesn't work. Um, let's convert my shotgun. No, let's... I want to use the magnum. Oops. Oh! He's got some reach. He upgraded his claws. Zombie O's. <laughs> no, Resident Evil... O's. No, Eve. Never mind. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I have to be careful because he can kill me in one hit if he bites me. Hold on, I'm in a safe state. Oh, I'm gonna run out of ammo. At least I can see where he is. Like that. <laughs> okay. But like literally, like this room, you can't, um, you can't win. Like you kill William and then you're just stuck in here because the, the elevator never comes and uh, you can't leave, so you're just, like, stuck. What the? William, no, I'm so sorry. Are you, are you looking at me or are you looking over there? I can't tell. So, yeah. <laughs> I think something's supposed to happen here and it's just... I'm mashing the button, there's nothing. And that's it. So that is, that's scenario one. Um, I guess I should have just let him kill me. So I can go to the main menu. Let's do that. William, stop! Yeah, you can't skip to the next room. Um, it's like all... If you go on my Twitter, you can see I tried that, and it's just like a garbled mess of, like, pixels. Like, you're... It's just not... I don't know. <laughs> so, we're going to teleport around the second scenario, and then we'll be done for today. But I just wanted to show you guys um, some of the areas there, because they are different, especially, like, Chief Iron's office is worth seeing. I like this angle because you can see the semi-truck a lot clearer. Excuse me, everybody. Come on, guys. Let's go get some food. Let's go to... What did that say? The candy store. <laughs> let's go to the candy store. Yeah. I thought this was a Sims channel. Technically, it is. My most viewed video. All right, um... Oh god, 
I don't remember. Where does this go? Let's find out. Oops. Jumped way back. Do you think it's the most disgusting mutation? Um. Which mutation bothers me the most? I don't know, because they're all kind of cool in their own ways. Like, William's gross, but he's also kind of cool somehow. East office. I don't. We're just going to keep going until we find Chief Iron's office. Yeah, I'm not sure. Excuse me. Do you know where Chief Iron's office is? <laughs> he lick him up, pee pee. <clears throat> I don't know. Nemesis is kind of cool. Especially, like, I remember as a kid, like, when he's in his second form and he's got, like, his tentacles and his muscles, he looked, like, weirdly hunky, and I was like, that's kind of cool. Like, he could kick your ass. I want to be, like, if I was a B.O.W., I'd want to be like that. I'd just rip my shirt off and be like, Rah! Stars. All right. Kensia. I, again, I'm just looking for any words that might stand out. Alright. Oh, and it reset. How about Ryuchi Jio? Yeah, Rob, that's why I really love the um, uh, Duck Station emulator because you can connect it to. There's a website called Retro Achievements or something like that, uh, and you create an account. And you can get achievements in classic games, including Resident Evil 2, 3, all the Resident Evils, Tomb Raider, Metal Gear Solid, Silent Hill. And it's really, really cool to be able to do that. Kudea boss. Ooh, that'll take me. All right. Okay, we made it to Claire's side. Now we could go backwards. Here we are. So there you go, Chief Iron's office originally had a bear, and if you, I'm pretty sure that just says it's a bear, or like it's a stuffed bear, and then there's a, there's a tiger head up there, which is very distressing for me, because you guys know how much I love tigers. Alex Wesker's mutation was pretty bad, I will say that, I agree with that one. Here I can't remember how much of this was in the original, because I didn't ever spend a lot of time in Chief Iron's creepy room but in case that's different there you go and he's got this weird little stove for cooking or god knows what I don't even know I don't want to know I'm guessing they removed the bear maybe because like it's just um, it's a little derpy looking <laughs> like I don't think they modeled the bear that great but I could be wrong I know that they probably had very high standards for certain modeling and stuff. Uh, thank you, Richard. <laughs> no detail at all, just bare. You just have long arms. <laughs> you could smack someone from across the room. Oh, I can't get through here because there's an invisible wall because the puzzle isn't solved. What if I jump into this room? Will it put me on the right side? Yay! There we go. OK, 
Okay, somebody had said that that was the name and you were right. Uh, I'm so sorry. Someone said Shocho Shitsu. I can't find you in the chat. I'm sorry. I like to thank people by name, but thank you. I think this is really the only area that Claire goes to that Leon, like, doesn't get to. But I guess he still comes here in the second scenario. Let's see if this will get Mr. X to spawn. Because you guys will see, he's he's scary without the music because he just appears and you're like, ah! I remember back in the day, for like more um, ambiance, I used to turn off the music and just like walk around the RPD and just be like, ooh, like where is everybody? <laughs> what a lovely room of death. Man, I forgot about Ace Ventura. I watched that so much as a kid and for some reason I can't remember it. Yep, he's here. Everybody say hello to Mr. X, making an appearance on the stream. Leon's like, what are you doing, step bro? Oh no. I don't think I've ever left this room with him alive. I've always taken him down there. But thankfully, I know this isn't like Resident Evil 2 Remake where he follows you, because, oh my god. <laughs> and also, if I go through here because the C4 hasn't been used, I can't exit into the hallway. And enemies also can't reach me. See? And I can't shoot them or anything, so there's just a big invisible wall. Oh, they're so excited. Oh, look at Leon. He's just like, oh my god. <laughs> Alright, we'll jump to the labs. Just because those are probably the biggest change. Home. What is home? Okay, apparently this is home. Welcome home, everyone. So yeah, the typewriter from inside the train was moved over here. Along with... Well, this was already here. I guess they just kept it there, but... Yep. Um, so this and then the, the power room area. Uh, probably my favorite change that I wish they had kept is the power room because there's like moths. Oops. Not uh, here. What? Six. Just rest here for All right. We'll Claire just go there the normal way soon. because I'm going to crash the game again. <laughs> Help me, Tyrant. I'm stuck in this hallway. What the? <laughs> Doing things out of order. Yeah, I... Everyone was talking about the Callisto Protocol, and I was just like... I don't know, like... I know what happened. Oh, what if I go down this hallway? Okay, I have a feeling this is going to crash the game, so I'm going to do a safe state. I don't know why, I'm just like, paranoid. Is the elevator here? Ooh, look, the elevator's here. And... I'm guessing that's like, there's no time or something. What would I change about Resident Evil's canon? I would not nuke Raccoon City. There was so much left to do in Raccoon City. Like, we weren't finished yet. Where is the power room? Is 
Isn't it in the elevator? No, that takes you to Sherry. How do you get to the power room? Oh my god. I'm gonna just assume it's this way. Resident Evil and Star Wars. Well, see, that's the thing, is, like, I've adopted... That's why I'm working on a PS1 game, because I've just realized that... Okay, no, this is not the right area. Like, indie devs shouldn't be trying to make AAA games, because, like, they have hundreds of people working on... Oh, damn it. Like, it's just... It's really, really hard to do that, and I'd rather just make a PS1 game anyway, you know? Or, like, a, a game with sprites, something with simpler graphic style or gameplay, so, you know, you're not held to the same standards as AAA games, because that's what happens. Even if you end up getting, like, uh, oh, it's snowing again. Oh, wow, it's really snowing. Oh, my God, the secret room! Okay, what is this room called? Cap... Capseru... G capsule. Oh, G capsule. We found it, you guys. Get off me! I don't even know you. So I guess by default the submachine gun is in here. Cool. Power room. That makes sense. Well, there you go, guys. The secret room is, for the most part, as far as I can tell, unchanged. And I can't examine anything. So there you go. We found it after all. Alright, power room. Wasn't it this one? There we go. Pon. Oh my god, you have to like translate English. <laughs> like. Pompus. Pompus. Pompus? Pomp. I don't know. Oh no, the elevator's down there. Or not? What the? <laughs> what is happening? Okay. For whatever reason, the elevator is invisible. Oh, now, now it's back. But that's what I mean, uh, LG drunk. Like with nuking Raccoon City, I feel like. After playing Outbreak and a couple of, like, Operation Raccoon City, there's so much... I still think they could make Resident Evil prequels that take place in Raccoon City, and, like, there's a lot there. Like, there's a lot you can do with an entire city. Ah. <sighs> it really was a tragedy. Those poor people. Come on, Leon. I feel like this is at a different angle because I don't remember having trouble seeing where the box goes on the elevator. Oh, I'll be I'll be streaming Resident Evil 4 Remake as soon as it arrives at my house. Well, and of course I install it because you have to install everything nowadays. <laughs> Back in my day, you just put in the disc and then it worked and hallelujah. Uh, Squidward Tentacles is right. Horror is all about the location. I have always said, and I always will say, that the um, the environments are the real main characters in Resident Evil games. Something that I think Capcom has lost focus of, unfortunately. Although, that's one of the things that I really praise Seven and Village for, is it is all about the locations, and they do a great job. I had to go under my house, because that big, like, arctic freeze that happened... 
uh, we were worried about the pipes. So I went under the house to um, uh, insulate all the pipes, and I felt very manly because I, I did that. But when I was down there, it was literally the Resident Evil 7 when you're crawling under the house. I mean, it, it, it felt exactly like that, except I could feel it and smell it, and I was like, whoa, this is what it's like. You know, I was bonking my head. I had to, like, crouch down. It was weird. I was like, I'm in Resident Evil 7 right now in my house. This is crazy. Ah, <sighs> okay. This is the room that I wish they had left like this. What do you guys think? Because normally there's the evolved liquors in here. But instead there's moths. Which, I guess, because moths aren't good with heat, they remove them. And then even over here... They had moths blocking the, um, the power thingy. You know, you have to kill them to pull the switch. That's cool. Why'd they remove that? I like it. Oh, God! Oh, God! Ah! Plus, I mean, we only got to see the moth literally one time. What was that about? I'm not even going to get into the Tomb Raider thing. I just hope that whatever they're working on next is good. Although, they have said that they're excited about the idea of remaking classic Tomb Raider games, which could mean, like, Tomb Raider 2 or 3 remake, who knows. Oh, I'd be so down for that. Just reset the whole franchise. Take it back to the beginning, combine the good, leave out the bad. We're done. Simple sounds to relax to. What a nice name. Thank you for the $5. Small sushi. Oh, it's Warrior. What's up, dude? How's your new uh, your new ASMR channel going? And thank you. I actually had sushi on Thursday after my workout because we happened to be near a Whole Foods and they had a sushi thing and I was like, I'm going to get some sushi. All right, I'll go in here, um, but I think for the most part, you guys have now seen everything there is to show. And if not, uh, I did do a whole video showing all of the changes. If you want to really go in detail about this prototype version and see all the stuff that you haven't seen here. Where is the power room key? Where is the power room key? There it is. Okay. Uh, Bropez, I have played more Sims busting out than I ever want to play in my life. After making that video, I am I'm done talking about Sims busting out forever. But I'm glad that you like it because it's also one of my all-time favorites. It's going good, slow but good. Yep. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Just do something you enjoy and that's all you can do. Run. Ada. Yes, I know. My crafting videos. I thought people wanted to know how to make stuff for cosplay or Resident Evil, but that's how you learn what content to make and what content to not make. People like what they like, so. Ada, are you okay? Leon, please escape. Yeah, the the music really adds so much. <laughs> I can't just leave you behind. I'm just a woman who fell in love with you. Nothing more. I promise a chill stream on games other than Resident Evil tomorrow. I don't know if I can stream tomorrow. Oh god, they're kissing. <gasps> Shock. But again, that's why I was thinking about Twitch and stuff, because sometimes I just want to, like, relax and, you know. Ada. No. Here it comes. Self-destruct sequence has been activated. 
activated. Repeat. Fun fact, that's Ada's voice. <laughs> He's like, goodbye, uh, Stacy, whatever her name was. All right, once we get to the William boss fight, that's it. Stream, stream will end. <laughs> Ada spelled backwards as Ada. As your text alert, could you imagine that going off in the middle of the night and scaring the crap out of you? <laughs> Wait a second. What are you gonna do? Where are you going? <laughs> hey comic girl. Yeah, Ada's just you know She's taking a little nap in a pool of blood. Yeah, so we get to fight the Super Tyrant, but when we try to fight William, the game just freezes. And that's the end. That's all they put into it. I'm so sorry. Oh, this is new. Which I don't understand. I guess in that room, because it's all like a wire mesh floor, if Leon looks down, he can see the lava, but... I guess they decided it was more interesting if he didn't know it was coming. I thought in the remake Ada kissed Leon. Like he's in the middle of conversation and she was just like... <laughs> he's like, uh, no means no. And then BAM! No, I'm just kidding. Oh. I don't know how this is gonna go, because we already did... We're sequence breaking this game, so... There's just a series of checklists that the game has to run through, so it's like, did Leon already carry Sherry through this room? Yes, okay, don't do that again. But he did, so I don't know what's gonna happen now. Also, he uses the master key automatically. Like, you don't have to do anything. It's just, like, basically one big long cutscene. <clears throat> Cleon forever. Diamond. I know that Resident Evil 4 was a special game. That was your first Resident Evil, I think you told me. So, there you go. I'm excited for Resident Evil 4 Remake. I think it'll be a lot of fun. They don't have GameStop in the UK. They have sex. That's what they've said. That's how you say it. I think. S-E-C-S? -E Ten minutes until detonation. Ten minutes. All right. I had time to make some lunch. Go read a magazine. Save state, because I'm not really equipped to kill this guy, but let's see what I can do with my submachine gun. Oh god. Ow! Ow! You're mean! Oh shit. I'm dying. Help. Help. 
Ada, anytime you want to throw that rocket launcher down. Where is she? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. Oh, fuck. This boss fight is, I've always thought, is unfair because he's so fast. I don't think I've ever died. Oh. There you go. Leon, are you okay? LZTR Films, thank you for the three Canadian dollars to the best RE YouTuber around. Oh, thank you so much. And thank you for tuning in. Alright, let's just use the Magnum. We don't got no time for this. There is also a graphic for the the Resident Evil 1 rocket launcher in the game's files. Game like the, the four rocket one that Jill uses. Just letting you guys know. Ba ba ba. Here. This is what you're looking for, right? Oh. It was just a late notification. I was like, what? Mort the chicken. Hmm. I want to do a video where I just try out every single, like, girl game. Remember back in the day when there was, like, those horrible games? Like, games for girls, and it was just, like, stupid Barbie mini games and stuff. And just, I want to determine which one was the best. <laughs> like, I'm so sorry for girls who, were, like, were given those as, like, presents, because it's, like, you deserve, like, real games, you know? <laughs> All right. And this is it. You try to fight William. Oh, I should probably start the train first. And there's no cutscenes. I think it plays like one of the other cutscenes, like f from the statue or whatever, as like a placeholder, I guess. Meanwhile, at the RPD... What was that? I don't know. The door won't open. Warning. Biohazardous outbreak imminent. Mary Kate and Ashley. Oh god. The DSI That's So Raven game. Okay, I'm gonna have to get like recommendations and then go through What's them. Wrong? I don't know. The door won't open. Hello, Victoria. And Ryan. So you just have to go over here, I guess. And be like, oh, there's nowhere I can go. And then when you try to run back... <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> that's where the game freezes. So there you go. That was the Resident Evil 4... I mean Resident Evil 2 prototype. At least the first scenario. I don't think I need to play through the second one. It's, it's what you guys expect other than these 
changes. Um, all right. Let me go ahead and close this. Okay, guys. So there we go. That was the prototype. Uh, thank you, everyone who watched that video, by the way. And thank you all for tuning in and everybody who donated and you guys for supporting my channel because it's just like, ah. Um, one thing I do want to say before I go, just letting you know, uh, my grandma, uh, who I've mentioned has severe dementia at this point, has reached that fun stage of no longer eating. So that probably means it's only a matter of time before you know and i'm probably gonna have to take time off of youtube to do that i'll try to keep up with my videos i'm trying to do my content ahead of time to pre-schedule it but just so you guys know if there's like a time that i'm not uploading for a while that's why but uh, i'll be fine don't worry anyway i don't want to talk about that um thank you guys uh i hope that you're all doing well i hope you have a great rest of your weekend please remember to drink water i haven't drank water this entire stream But anyway, I'm going to end this here, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!